Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. In today's video we are diving into outliner apps. So these are apps that work in bullet points and nested bullet points and I am going to talk about some of my favorite outliner apps. And we are going to start off with this app called Tana, which actually is a Norwegian app, so maybe a little biased here. Uh, but this app works really similarly to something like Notion because of the databases, but it is different as well. So it has databases that evolves around what's called super tags. Uh, and the way these super tags works is that you can place something anywhere on your workspace and by just simply tagging it. So let's say I wanted to take out the trash and that is a to do, take out the trash. And I could easily tag this with to do and easily be able to find it later using the super tags and the search query, which I have right here. Uh, so you could easily just write it down, call it, give it a tag and easily be able to find it later. But once I have actually written this down and give it a tag, I can also uh, change the properties right from here. So I could change this to going to do, I can give it a part of life and I can give it a due date from right here as well. Uh, and I should be able to see it here. This is because I have set up a couple of filters that only shows things that are going to do. Uh, so 23 items here is filtered out. So you get all of the databases. It has backlinks as well. So you can link different things together, which is really, really great and a great thing to have in an um, note taking app but the best part about this is how quickly you can capture things and how quickly you can organize them that's the main selling point of Tana and pricing on this is yet to be determined since it is still uh, in its early stages but it is around ten dollars each month that's at least what the team has said so Amazing application, great outliner, has a lot of functionality with the databases. The next app we are going to talk about is actually called um, Remnote, and Remnote is a great outliner. So it works similarly to all other outliners that you can write things down and you can jump into them and you can keep writing things down like this. Uh, and I can keep jumping in to nested tags uh, and this also allows you to take notes without bullet points as well so if you're into longer form writing this can be an option for you there are a bunch of ways to format the text it is block based so i can drag the different blocks around um, and the best part about this app and the reason for why it is tailored more towards students is actually flashcards so you can build flashcards in this app quite easily and it also has AI functionality to help you build flashcards. It has um, a graph view on the pro plan which I touched on in yesterday's video. It has daily notes just like Tana has. It has backlinking here as well so you can link different things together and see how everything is linked and as I said we have a graph view on the pro plan which costs you eight dollars each month if built annually or ten dollars each month if built monthly and this one is probably best for students but a lot of pkm lovers have been using this as well the next one is actually roam research and this costs 165 dollars if you pay yearly which comes in at 13.75 each month or 15 dollars monthly if you wanted to pay monthly this is a really easy to use app and my uh plan has expired i don't use this app anymore it is too pricey for me personally but easy to use app you just write things down you have a graph to see how things are linked together and most of these uh, apps work the same so you can jump into bullet points and you can start writing 
in nested bullet points and so on and so forth forward um this app is what started the whole network note taking amazing application easy to learn quite easy to learn actually but the problem i have with this is the pricing it isn't cheap at all and it's not been an app i have used on a regular basis i've tried it out uh, on a free trial but not an app i actually use on a day-to-day -day basis and i would probably never do that as well when it comes to my personal favorite out of the outliner apps i am not personally an outliner myself i prefer to take longer notes so these outliner apps have never been for me really but my favorite one is actually workflowy if i had to go for an outliner i would probably go for this here you get uh, kanban board views so this is your board view you get a to do view or you can get it as a bullet view which is basically just notes so the way this works is that the Kanban boards the cards on your Kanban boards are actual bullets so you can jump into them and write thing things in them uh, so this is your nested bullet and you can nest things underneath here which is a really cool functionality to have this in an outliner the main selling points of the this app is that uh, it is much easier to learn than something like Tana, which I believe is the second best app uh, out of this list, or uh, second or third, depending on where I will want to put the next one. But the best part about this is that it is much easier to learn. It has mirror things, so a thing or a bullet can live in multiple uh, uh, places and when you edit it in one place it will also be edited in another place so we have mirror things is what's that called uh, so we have mirror things in here and the other thing is that you have backlinks as well it has a lot of great functionality it keeps getting better and better and honestly my favorite one out of the app uh, out of the apps uh, I am covering today so this is the mirror things function as you can see here this bullet looks a little different than these ones these ones are uh, circles while this one is not this is because it is mirrored so it exists in multiple different places which is a really really cool feature that I like so that's workflowy for you the last one is logsec and logsec has the functionality with flashcards added functionality with whiteboards a great graph view journal pages and you can add different things here as well this is quite similar if you're familiar with something like obsidian this is clearly modeled off of obsidian just uh, for bullet points and outlining which is a note-taking method that a lot of people do prefer uh, but it has a plugin system you can actually take longer notes in this using some coding some css you will be able to write longer notes in here and not just bullet point notes it stores all of your files locally on your device which is really really good uh, when it comes to privacy and it offers a way for you to sync as well by donating i think it's at least five dollars to the development of this application but you could sync using third-party cloud software like icloud or uh, dropbox which i know a lot of people have used uh, and again everything is on your computer as markdown files so you own your own files that was all of the outliner apps i wanted to talk about in today's video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video